somewhere. Years ago, there was a mother who knew that her son was the cleverest, the most talented, the most beautiful. And now the brightest and most beautiful child in the world lies in a strange street. And his name isn't even known. We should have seen the worst coming. The Germans have embarked on a program of mass murder. The world's turning upside down. But we did not want to know the truth. We did not want to see it. Does the world know about our suffering? Emanuel Ringelblum understood that he had a story to tell, and it was the most important story he would ever have to tell. Almost all the photography that we have was taken by the German propaganda unit. Will the Germans write our history, or will we write our history? Let the witness be our writing. I laid the first brick for the archive in October of 1939. Their goal was to write the history of the war from the Jewish perspective. And there was no time to lose. The worst scenario was in the process of happening. To leave time capsules was one of the most effective forms of resistance. We can at least fight to ensure that our memory will be based on what we write and not on what the Germans show. Our will to live is mightier than the will to destruction. Writing becomes the only recourse. That was the ultimate act of defiance. You don't really need guns to fight. You could fight with paper and pen. This is what made this collection of documents so absolutely unique. One thing is clear to all of us. Our devotion and constant terror have not been in vain. It was a massive collection of the voices of a murdered people. Among those taken away was Rabbi Uber. Gelly Sextine. Israel Lichtenstein. Leib Golden. Abraham Levin. Halina. Emanuel Ringelblum. Remember, my name is Nahum Gazevich. I am writing this as a witness.